The joys of living in northern New England. Here we are, April 11th, and we're still totally snow covered. Five full months of snow on the ground. Just about ready to begin our sixth month. <laughs> Unbelievable. But that's not what this video is about. It's an old violin. Here we have an old violin made in 1870 in the mid-region of Europe or the Czech, current Czechoslovakia area or Czech Republic and back then they didn't have any shops or anything Czechoslovakia and many of the Slavic nations have always been in a bad area meaning they the economic and the political uh, climates always been hectic and the people have always been poor so what they did in this time was they would have a number of houses that would make the violin. A few houses made the top plate, a few houses made the bottom plate, a few houses made the scroll, a few houses were uh, varnished, uh, did the varnishing of instruments. So when they put a label in, they just put a standard Stradivari or Stainer or Guarneri label, which were models of violins, and then they would sell them. Uh, and most came to the United States. Um, it is a modern uh, phenomena of one luthier making the entire violin. Even Stradivari, when he made his violins, had seven, eight, nine, maybe even ten people working on them, from apprentices to various skilled labor, all under his supervision. So having one person make a violin is pretty recent. And uh, put it a little on its bottom. As you can see, it's got a nice back. They always save the best wood for the better made instruments. This is a really sweet sounding instrument. Very, very sweet. 135, 40 so years old. There's the top. And then I'll, there's the nice, uh, everybody likes the scroll. Really doesn't have any bearing on sound. This scroll has been bushed, meaning the original holes have been filled with a wood plug and then re-drilled because they wore out. And the graft, there is no neck graft on this, I should say. Prior to 1820, I believe, the uh, they lengthened the strings for better sound from here to here. So they needed a neck that was longer, so they would take the neck off, take the original scroll off for obvious reasons, that's part of the art of the violin, and graft it onto the new longer fingerboard or neck. Just about all Stradivarius Talking multi-million violins have had grafted necks. So, from the old Baroque style to the more modern. <clears throat> so a nice little violin, 1870-ish, 1880-ish. Good shape. Beautiful instrument. These are just works of art in and of themselves. Thanks for watching.